as unique as a black carbon fiber unicorn. As spacious as the Sistine Chapel and some would say as beautiful. Quirky and cool. Imposing and insane. The Hansteiger X1 has created more intrigue, raised more eyebrows and solicited more comments than any other yachting video on the web. And today we can see her for the first time as she hits the water and is prepared for delivery. I don't remember the last time that a yacht video put this big a smile on my face. I think never, to be perfectly honest. And with good reason, because not only have the incredible Hans Steiger team battled their way through the worst pandemic in living history to complete an insanely ambitious project, but they've done so to a remarkably high level of quality. Now, as we look around the yacht, you will see a few small details that still need to be finished. That's totally normal for a yacht in this phase of delivery, but we wanted to get this video filmed for you to show what an incredible product is now available on the market. And I believe that many of her features will put a big smile on your face too. Access to the Hansteiger X1 is from the stern, and this stern has the biggest wow factor of any yacht I have seen. The entire aft section opens up to not only allow for extreme ease of access, but also to flood the lounge with sunlight, converting a previously exclusively interior area into a vast beach club with stunning views and the freshest of fresh air. The Hansteiger team were well aware of the challenges of this design though, the largest of which was losing cool air from the air conditioning when the aft doors are down. They turned this challenge into a great feature on board, as some of those distinctive geometric glass panels lift like gullwing doors to allow natural breezes to cool the guests with a cross flow of delightful sea air. The lounge area is both vast and supremely well designed. Large, comfortable sofas and armchairs to starboard, a very elegant and modern galley to port, leading onto a well proportioned dining table. When I said earlier that the yacht put a smile on my face, though, it is little details like this that are just wonderful on board. Two ultra comfortable armchairs that rotate so that you can enjoy whatever view takes your fancy or even get a little closer to somebody who takes your fancy if you prefer. Forward of the galley on the port side is a beautifully appointed VIP stateroom with surprisingly spacious wardrobe space and a gorgeous and sophisticated bathroom. It's the starboard side of the yacht, though, that showcases Hans Steiger's original and daring approach to yacht design. Just look at this, an area of the yacht inspired by first-class air travel, where guests can sit and watch the scenery go by, children can nap or play on their PlayStations, and at night, the entire area can be closed off and used as an extra stateroom. Complete, of course, with another extremely well-appointed bathroom. This area really is the joker in Hans Steiger's pack of cards. Not only can it be used in many different ways, but a door off the corridor also leads to a small service cabin that is ideal for a nanny or an unexpected overnight guest.
As I mentioned at the beginning, we're filming this as Hans Tiger are putting the final touches on the yacht. There's still some exposed stainless steel in the bathrooms. That'll be covered with a lovely vinyl finishing. There are still some fittings that need to be adjusted. It made me smile that the Hans Tiger crew were apologizing for this. I've delivered over 100 yachts in my career and there are well established yacht builders that will be proud of this level of finishing and proud to be able to have a yacht this close to completion on the day of filming. Now as regards the guest areas I really have left the best until last. The master stateroom at the extreme forward end of the centre hull. I've left it until last because I want you to have the same impression that I had when I saw it for the first time. And I just kept saying, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, and there's another wow I absolutely have to tell you about. And it's up those steps. Just take a look at the helm station. The Hansteiger designers certainly didn't hold back on daring designs. This fighter pilot styled helm station could put a smile on anybody's face. Well equipped, well positioned, and well, just a lot of fun to use. The Helm Station in turn leads on to a glorious flybridge. For this yacht, it was decided that a central barbecue island would dominate the centre. For yacht owners who enjoyed everything from fine dining to hearty barbecues, this is a wonderful solution and still allows plenty of space for sunbathing and a jacuzzi tub. If you're watching this video though and reaching for your checkbook to order one for yourself, please be aware that actually you can pretty much order whatever layout you prefer in this part of the yacht. And also on this deck is access to the two crew cabins located in the port and starboard hulls. Let's talk for a moment though about the things that you haven't seen yet on board. One thing you certainly can't see is the remarkable level of silence throughout. This is simply because the designers opted for a powerful battery bank to be installed on board so that the vessel's entire hotel load can run entirely from the batteries. Of course, these need to be recharged regularly from generators or shore power. But once you drop the anchor in a secluded bay, you can totally relax with only the sound of the lapping sea and the occasional seagull to break the silence. And talking of the lapping sea, Hans Steiger have once again excelled in their ability to design a system to access the sea that I have just not seen on any other yacht. Here, in the centre of the main lounge, the floor opens up to reveal a float-in, float-out tender garage from which you can quite literally sail away from the mother ship. Or, if you're more interested in going for a swim, a large inflatable pontoon attaches to the garage and you can literally walk off the yacht and into the sea. A lot more fun than a traditional swim ladder. Now you may be thinking to yourself, I'm sure I saw a mast on that yacht. It is a sailing boat, isn't it? And of course, You'd be right. Actually, the Hansteiger X1 can be used as a sailing yacht or as a power boat. She reached 18 knots at 80% power. That's more even than the shipyard expected. One sort of power though is completely free and environmentally friendly. And that of course is the wind. So let's go sailing. We actually filmed the footage of the Hansteiger X1 under sail on the second day of our shoot and the weather conditions were quite different. 
We'd been told about the great performance of the yacht under sail with speeds of 13 knots achievable, but now we got to see the great sea keeping abilities of the vessel as she sliced her way through some really quite sizable waves. This is such a great testimony to not just the build quality of the yacht, but also the naval architecture behind the design of her hulls. This yacht though is so much more than a sailing trimaran, as rare a beast as that is these days. The Hansteiger X1 is a testimony to one man's vision of what he envisaged as the perfect yacht. And the incredible determination and skill of the naval architects Antonio and Nerea, who helped turn that dream into a reality. Between them, they have created a truly unique vessel and a very distinguished brand, so that yacht owners and their friends and family can own their own Hansteiger to also enjoy life at sea in a magnificent and yet somehow supremely relaxing setting. I must admit, when the founder of Hansteiger, John Ordovas, first approached me about this project, I thought he was totally crazy. And to be honest, I still think he is. But there is definitely a space on the market for this crazy yacht. I would never tire of owning a Hansteiger. The finishing of the interiors, the fact that you can see these intriguing geometric shapes everywhere that you look, the feeling of being outside when actually you're inside the yacht, the performance of the boat itself. This is an extreme yacht, but it's an extreme and exciting yacht that's been exquisitely finished and wonderfully designed by a man who knows what he wants from a yacht. And if that is crazy, I can't wait to see what he does next. <laughs>